Today we're going to take a look at how to do the text flicker effect. This is very simple to do and you can do it in a matter of seconds. So stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos and this channel is all about helping you create better video so you can build your brand. If you're new to this channel, subscribe right now so you don't miss a thing. All right, so let's get into it. It's very simple. It's only going to take about a couple seconds to create this effect. And I think it's very valuable because it keeps people's attention on your videos. It's very simple for someone to click away on the next video. So you want to keep re-engaging people's attention. And you do that by adding special effects. And I tend to do that whenever, also whenever I'm trying to emphasize certain words. So without further ado, let's jump into the computer and show you how to do that. Here we are in Final Cut Pro X, but just know that this tutorial will work with any video editing program, whether you have Premiere Pro or iMovie, whatever you have, it'll be the same concept. You don't need any kind of special effects. If you can add titles to your video editor, editor program, this will work. So here's a video I recently worked on. I was talking about my MacBook Pro mid-2012. Check out the video. It's uh, really awesome if you haven't seen it. Um, so let me play this. I think for 2008, I'm probably not going to up. So I did the flicker effect because I accidentally said 2008. I meant to say 2018. And I think the flicker effects just adds extra interest. And my suggestion to you is that whenever you can add some kind of special effects, something that just pops or change the composition or do something just so you re-engage people's attention and you keep them longer on your videos because ultimately that's what you want. All right, so let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna delete this and here, I already made markers. This is where I want the text to begin. This is where I want it to end. And there's a shortcut key uh, to add a text. It's control T. I'm gonna drag this over to the left. And first of all, let's edit the text, Command-4, to bring up the inspector. And I'm just going to say, or type in here, 2018. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to put it in front of my mouth because I messed up. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's go to the beginning of the title. And we're going to zoom in there, Command+, plus, and hit the Blade tool as a B button. And just we're going to move one frame at a time. So the right arrow key moves one frame and I'm gonna make a cut there, one frame to the right, cut, and or I can just do it manually like this without moving, using the arrow key. But I like to use the arrow key just to make sure I'm um, I'm doing, moving one frame at a time. Sometimes you try to do a cut and it'll move, it'll make a cut two, two frames long or three frames. So just make sure you're, you're just cutting every frame, every one frame. So there we go. Let's back to, go back to the selection tool, A button, and then we're going to disable this one, or you can delete it. I like to disable it by hitting the, the V key, and then the V key again, and you can see this is not showing up anymore. All right, now let's do it for the other side, the end over here, and left arrow key to move one frame to the left, and then one frame, one frame, one frame frame. There we go. Now I'm going to disable this one. V, V, and there it is. That's all you have to do. So let's play this again. Let me zoom out and let's play it. I think for 2008, I'm probably not going to up. You see that? It's that simple. All right, guys. So let me know if you have any questions um, or anything I didn't, wasn't clear about. Please let me know. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, you should do so because I'm making videos like this. If you want to learn how to create better videos so you can build your brand because you want to keep people's attention on what you're saying, then subscribe right now. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I can trust myself. I